drugstore dupes one of our favorite videos to film and to find and to be able to find the best makeup that won't break the piggy bank and that's what we're getting into right now So good to see you today. I wanted to bring to you several dupes that I have found as I've been recuperating from my surgery. Everything has finally calmed down. You know, fingers crossed that we don't have anything else happen. The biggest thing that happened that was so hard for me was that as they cut you, they cut your nerves and so they mend after a while. And as those nerves have been waking up, they have been sending a horrendous pain around my middle. So basically it took me a long time to get through a lot of it. I did have to have some cortisone shots in my stomach in order to get those nerves to calm down. I'm feeling much better now and I appreciate all of your well wishes and your lovely thoughts. I just appreciate that so much. So let's get into dupes though. I'm excited about what I found for you. One of the the things that I found while I was convalescing is a really cool dupe for the Crest White Strips that I use on my teeth. You're always asking me, what do you use to whiten your teeth? And it's always just the same. It's plain old Crest White Strips. I've been doing it probably for 20 years since my daughter was really little and they first came out with them. However, I did recently find something that I was really happy about. These are the, I don't know how to say this other than PDOO, it's P-D-O-O -O, teeth whitening strips. And these are about $20, whereas your Crest White Strips run anywhere from, depending on which ones you get and the quantity, anywhere from 35 to $50. So these are about half the price of them. They're the same exact thing that you use. So they come in a individual package. Looks like this right here. So this is the top right here. This is the bottom. You just take them, you stretch them out, you push them in down in the crevices of your teeth as much as you can, fold them over under your teeth and wear them for like 30 to 45 minutes. And in, you know, several days or a week or however long it takes, you're going to start to notice your teeth are getting whiter and whiter. These do not work on any sort of crowns or any sort of veneers. So if you have anything like that, just know that ahead of time, it's not going to work at all. But I love these for two reasons. Number one is the price, half the price, hello. And they have the exact same ingredients on them, except for they do have something in here that doesn't cause the sensitivity. The Chris White Strips, will kill me if I use them seven days in a row. That's why I always have told people, you've got to wait in between days. These don't do that. I don't get that kind of sensitivity, which is so great. They work every bit as good, but at a fraction of the cost, definite dupe and yeah, no sensitivity, that's a bonus. The next one I came across because I was just experimenting with different foundations. And both of these foundations that I'm gonna show you, I really do love and have loved for a long time. This one's the Estee Lauder Fu uh, Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with a broad spectrum of, I think it says 45, I don't have my glasses on. But what's cool about this is that you get that moisturizing factor, you get the sun protection, but this is the most beautiful makeup for anybody that has dry mature skin, even if you have normal mature skin. If you have oily, I'm gonna question this and I'm gonna tell you not to get it because it really is very moisturizing and usually you want something more matte if you're oily. I also used one of my other favorites a lot, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Now, as I'm using these two back and forth, I'm like, Okay, they perform exactly the same. So one day I would wear this one, the Estee Lauder, the other day I would wear the L'Oreal and I'm like, holy smokes people, these are the same. <laughs> they really truly are. The only difference, I had to put my glasses on so I could tell you this, the only difference is that the L'Oreal has an SPF of 15 and the Estee Lauder has 45. I don't rely on foundations to give me my SPF. I always wear extra SPF anyway, so this doesn't bother me that it doesn't have that much. But longevity, moisturizing factors, the way that it sits on my dry mature skin and doesn't show any texture, but it covers so well. I mean, in two coats, you can have it looking like full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy like full coverage. It feels like a moisturizer. It feels nice and dewy on your skin. You're saving so much by going the L'Oreal way. You're saving so much money. And it really, they really do have the same consistency. They feel the same on the skin. I cannot say enough good about the L'Oreal. Although I love the Estee Lauder, I'm gonna continue to buy the L'Oreal because I feel like at this price, it should be a special occasion foundation. 
Is that even a thing? Maybe that's how they should market it. Special occasion foundation. So I love the L'Oreal. I think that they did a great job on it. I hope that they never discontinue it because I've fallen in love with it all over again. Oh, this one I'm so excited about. Okay. A long time ago, I bought this powder. I probably two or three years. I probably shouldn't even still have it, but it's from Pat McGrath Labs and it was stinking and expensive. They are everything from her is so expensive and it's the under eye setting powder or secret under eye brightening powder something like that the secret is is that it's a very white powder that's the secret it does come in one other color i believe for deeper skin gals and it's still a bright color like that so that's really the secret and it has this really super silky feel like there's no powder there but you can still see that that finger where i put it is brightened as compared to the other fingers. That's because it's super uber white. And I just could never get on board with this because I always felt like it was so drying. And even on my finger right now, I feel like it's super dry, feels very silky, feels very light, but I can feel that it's super dry on my finger right there. So you can tell that I hardly ever use this. I used it a couple of times, tried to make it work, and I just didn't use it anymore. And I stuck it in the back of my drawer because I wanted to find something that might compare with it someday, right? That's what I do. That's my job is to bring you guys things that compare to these expensive little buggers right here. And I think I might have. So this is new from Wet n Wild and I might have been out mm, a little more than a month or more but this one right here is a five in one powder i don't know if it's a five in one powder but basically what this says is it's up to 16 hour wear it's an essence it's a primer it's a finishing powder it's your base um, it says it smooths, conditions, refines pores, balances. You can use it pre and post makeup. Now, I think they got that idea from Mr. Wayne Goss because I have a video where I do my powder before I put on my foundation and it works wonderful. So you could try it with this too if you wanted to. So look at this. This is so much like that powder that you just saw as far as that uber white, uber duper white. But here's the difference. This feels like it has a little bit more creaminess in it. So I can set my under eyes with this. Now I do feel like if you're in a really dry, dry climate, you might not like this if you do have really crepey under eyes, but light touch, you know, I do that anyway with any powder that I use. So light touch, just a little bit of setting under there to keep my concealer from creasing. But this brightens and it's really really pretty on it. and i'm so glad that they that someone finally came out with something like this that's going to work now see i'm just barely touching this it doesn't I, you probably can't see that on camera i'm just barely touching right here and i really tapped off of the powder but it does give a brightness and a prettiness to your face now i haven't tested this out for being underneath makeup yet, but it does set your makeup really well, set your under eyes really well. If you're somebody that's super dry, just put your setting spray on top of it. You're gonna love it just as much. And yes, it is so much better. So this is almost like, yes, this is a dupe, but it's more of a situation where it's like, buy this, not that. Not to mention that you're going to be saving your wallet a whole ton and you'll be so happy that you didn't have to shell out the cost for this. All right, Mr. Mario from Makeup by Mario is such a genius and I love his products. I love just about everything he does. And I fell in love with his stick blushes, super creamy, super pretty, just thought they were great. Now this one is called Pe uh, Pale Petal. And these are the Soft Pop Blush Sticks, Pale Petal. And it just, they're so easy to use. They're creamy. They, you know, you can just dot them a couple times and then put it, you know, blend them in with your fingers if you want to. They're just a great product, but this is kind of expensive. So I recently was able to buy some from Essence. And these are Baby Got Blush. I love these. These are so nice, so much fun. And I love the consistency of these, maybe just a little bit more than the Makeup by Mario. The Makeup by Mario is a little bit more emollient. And I'll tell you why I'm not as crazy about that as I am about one that might not be so creamy is because I just think that 
the creamier the blush or that texture that's like super cream or not even cream, almost is like a liquid texture, it's not going to hug onto your cheeks and it's not going to be there all day. It's going to kind of, you know, rub away. And this kind of does a little bit. I mean, I love Makeup by Mario. And like I said, I love that he did this, but I really think that when you're looking for something that is a blush product, you're gonna need something that has a little bit more, a little bit less creaminess to it. Let me tell you what colors I just put on. So this one right here is Tickle Me Pink. That's so cute, Tickle Me Pink. And then the other one on the other side is Rose All Day. So that's the more um, rosy looking one. In this instance, again, I think this is more of a buy this, not that, because I think these are around $5 and gosh, I don't even know how much this one from Mario is. Definitely gonna just save yourself some. And these are such good quality. I'm so shocked at how good the quality is on it. So about three years ago, Hourglass came out with their Vanish Stick foundation comes in a triangle applicator like this there's not a lot in here because it's a stick but everybody went gaga for this foundation and there's good reason it covers really well and it's very very creamy if you are a mature woman a stick foundation is more like a cream foundation so you are you are getting something that is going to look prettier on your skin because it ha it won't dry out it's not going to settle very easily into the pores and make you look like you have more texture this is is a really beautiful product um, and this one is nice too because as you're working with it it kind of dries down just a little bit um, I really liked it I thought it was great I thought it was very pretty and I thought they did a good job and everybody lost their noodle over this and I liked it but I do think that the wet and wild photo focus stick foundation is every bit as good of a product I was working with both of these two and trying to figure out if I could say that this was every bit as good. And I think I can confidently say that, yes, it is. What you're gonna find with both of these is that the coverage is really good. It's got that moisturizing factor, and yet it does have that they set down just a little bit. Now, because they are the cream products, you're more than likely gonna have to put a little powder or a little bit of setting spray on them to get them to stay budge proof all day but boy the finish for a cream product on a mature woman is so much nicer i love this i found these two colors to be the same i'll make sure that i link and list both of those down below but yeah just really have been enjoying this and definitely think it's a great group. the beautiful makeup that is rare beauty this is one of my favorite makeup lines that is high end because I feel like it's not going to cost you your firstborn to have to go out and purchase a few of these products, but I feel like they are a very, very good quality. And this is the liquid luminizer. It comes with a doe food applicator. And this one I think is called Enchantment. Let me try and see here. It's just called Enchant. So it's got a pink tone to it. Hopefully you guys can see that through the bottle right there. It's got this pretty pink pearlescent tone to it. And it's just beautiful. It's just so pretty. And again, with the cream products, or this, in this case, the liquid products, you're getting a product that's not going to show up texture more. And FYI, pro tip, and I've told people this for ages, is if you really want to wear a highlighter, but you feel like it gives you texture, put it underneath your blush. And then it won't cause you as much texture and you should be able to wear it no problem. And I love these blush, or I love these highlighters. I think that they are such a good quality but again you know you pay for the name you pay for it being a higher end product but wet and wild came through again these are the mega glow hello halo and these are the liquid highlighters same thing we have a doe foot applicator what's really cool about this one is when i saw it it was like oops you are really close and not only are you really close in texture but you are really close in color and I do like these. Now, I will say that this one from Wet n Wild is just a little bit more liquidy than the one from Rare Beauty. But when it's underneath your blush or when it's on top of your blush or however you're gonna wear it, nobody's gonna be able to tell. It's just so pretty. I love putting this on, not necessarily dabbing it, you know, right from the doe foot applicator. I love putting them on my hand like this and then I'll pick them up with a brush and put them on. It just seems to be a little bit nicer of an application when you do that, but they are so very close in color, in the way they perform, and 
in price, I mean, my goodness, you know, we're, we're saving so much, but wow, look at the shine on both of them. So they both perform very, very well as far as being a highlighter. And I don't think you're going to be disappointed, especially when you check your bank account and this one has only cost you about $5 and they really do a good job on their quality as well. So definitely check out that one. Oh, by the, by the way, I need to tell you what this is called. This one is called Halo Gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Okay, the next one comes from Tarte. I got this and I'd never even heard about this product from Tarte. This is a two-in-one brow product. So you have the teeny tiny micro brow pencil on this side. And then on this side, you have the teeny tiny spoolie that comes with the brow gel on it. I love that little bitty spoolie and the fact that you can get in there and catch every single hair. I just really thought, what in the world? Why hasn't more, why haven't more people come out with this? But I was perusing Amazon the way that I do and I found this one from Uoma. And I hope that's how you say it. I'm probably slaughtering the name. Anyway, Uoma is, an, is a company that came to Ulta and I really do like them. However, I don't even know if they sell this on the Ulta website. I think I got mine from walmart.com. So it's like half or less of the price and you're still getting the little bitty micro spoolie and you're still getting a teeny tiny little spoolie for the brow gel. So we're gonna compare this. Here's the Tarte one, here's the Uoma one, same exact size. And then on the other side, whoops, and then on the other side, here is the Tarte one on this side and then the Uoma one on this side. This is even smaller on the Uoma side. I actually like it better. I fell in love with it and I'm like, dang, I am so glad that I found it. Not only that, but I feel like this is just a little bit better of a color for me in the Uoma one. These are so good. And I also love the gel actually on both of them because it does hold my brow, brow hair in place all day, so really love those. I'm gonna round this up with this, and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Everybody knows about it, everybody knows that people lose their mind about it. It's good, but it's not like the be all and the end all of a contour product for me. It's a little bit too warm, and she only has two colors, and yeah, I, it's okay. It's a good product, it blends very, very nicely. It's one of those products that's a cult classic and it sells out constantly, but I think that it's a little bit overhyped. Now, let me tell you what I've been using and I did find again because of TikTok. These are from Kaida Beauty. Kaida Beauty has these, um, the same thing as the one from Charlotte Tilbury. She has these, this one is the darkest one and I haven't been using it that much. This one is a little bit lighter and I've been using it. So again, this isn't the perfect contour color, it's kind of a duo color where you can contour and bronze with it. It's what I'm wearing today. And I really love the consistency. It's an almost a no fail type thing where you can spread it across there and you can tap it in with your fingers if you want to. And it blends so nicely. Now I would suggest to work in sections. So if you're gonna do your forehead, do your forehead, then blend it out, then do your cheeks, then blend them out, and then do your jawline, then blend them out. These are pretty, they blend out very well, they last all day long. I think that um, these are the only two colors in them. I do like though, that there is more in here than there is in the Charlotte Tilbury. And the other thing that's really cool about it is that it's about $10, whereas Charlotte's is 40 something dollars. So. Yeah, you're definitely paying for the name with Charlotte and you might as well go for something that doesn't break the piggy bank again. So I really do love these and I think that they are every bit as good as the Charlotte. That is it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy that. My information for what I'm wearing today and all of my makeup and everything will be listed below and I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Please do leave your comments down below if you recently have seen any really good dupes that I need to check out. I'm so happy to be back with you. I love you all so very much and hope you are doing really good. Please take care of yourselves so you can come back around and be with me very soon. Love you very much. Bye friends.